Welcome again here on my channel. The last time, many, many of you asked me about exercise, what exercise we can use, which exercise we use here in this center, and uh, then about service, how to do service, uh, which kind of services we used, how to do top, how to do counter top. So many of these table tennis skills. But okay, let's start from the beginning. It's, I want today, today sh uh, show you shortly what is really important here. First thing, much more important, one of the most important things is the position of your body. Because if you are not staying good, if you are not have good position, if you have not good gravity, if you are out of your gravity, uh, you have no chance, absolutely no chance to make one good ta table tennis skit. So this is the first. So today I will start talking about this, about the foot, uh, footwork, a little bit about uh, your body position, how should be in the moment when you start playing table tennis. So let's start with the position of your legs and of your body. The first thing is how should it be like this. You can't play table tennis if your legs are like this. And you can't play table tennis if you like too much time. Yeah? So this is this. It's the middle. This, this is the position which is good for, uh, for, 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 for table tennis. Other thing in this position is that your body weight must be always a little bit forward, not back on the heels, because when you are on the heels, you can't move. You can't move and you are blocked. So this is most important. Here, to be a little bit forward, not to be back. Okay, next thing is like this. Your legs must be open. Must be open, open a little bit more than your shoulders. So that's mean that your shoulders must stay always inside of your feet. This is this is very important in this position. And if you are in this position, your gravity, body gravity is in the middle. So from this position, I can go left, I can go right, I can go forward, I can go back. Doesn't matter. I'm in good position. In the moment when my shoulder is going out of my feet, for example, this position. In this position, I am, I have, I am limited. I can't move anymore. I can only fall in this side. So this is not the position. So you have to keep all the time, or in this position, for example, here also like this. I am out. I have no chance. So I need to keep my shoulder always inside of, of my feet. This is, this is the basic, and this means that I am in good position. On the table, it should be like this. Yeah? And one more important thing in movement. You have to keep rhythm. Rhythm is constantly moving all the time. With this, we will never stay on the hill. Back. We will never stay on the hill. If we are moving in rhythm, we are always forward. And this rhythm, with rhythm, without rhythm, we are dead. We have a not good reaction. Our reaction will be late. With rhythm, we are always in rhythm. So I mean that we are in moving, so our reaction is better when we are all the time, all the time we are going shortly up and down. So this is like rhythm all the time. We are not playing like this, this, like mechanic. We cannot tap, then stop, tap. We are tap, tap, tap. So when we are waiting that the ball come to us, we are moving slowly, slowly up and down and we are keeping rhythm to make better reaction. And next, next, very, very important things when we play table tennis, when before we start to play exercise, we need to know only also this, where we need to touch with the ball on the racket. It's not the same, that you need to know. Because if I touch the ball here or here, on the top of the racket, on the bottom of the racket, it's a big difference. It's a big difference in speed, and it's a big difference in, 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 in rotation. You know, maybe you, if you are working with small children, with young children, 
you you see that some children are playing pushing, are playing pushing good, and the ball is much down. And some children they are making really hard. They make so strong like this, but the ball it's never never much down. The reason is that the ball sometimes some people some players touch here in the bottom, and some here, and this is the big difference. So one more time, if someone touch here or someone touch here, it's a big difference. So the player who will touch here always will make good rotation. Player will touch down, there is no rotation. This is, we are talking about this, we are talking about top spin, we are talking about pushing, about service, very important things about service, how you make it, if you touch here or if you touch here. Some, if you know this small gap, then you can sometimes you learn and you touch sometimes under, sometimes here. With the same movement, the ball will be different. One time will be will have much spin. One time we have no will ball will not have much spin. And this is this is really important. These are small details. So before we start talking about exercises, before we start talking about technique, before before we start talking how to do stroke, it's very important to know this where the ball must touch the racket. And how is our position of body? If we are without, we are without good position of body, like I told before, we have absolutely no chance to make quality stroke. If we will, if we will not touch on the right point, the the the, the racket with the ball. If we will always play here, we will never have a strong strokes, never strong top spin, never strong rotation. This is this is for sure, and and this is very important that you know this. From the beginning. So, my friend, that was okay, uh, that was all for today. Uh, uh, in next uh, time, I will start uh, talking about exercises. I will try to explain which exercises uh, exist in table tennis. And what I want to say also, I will try to speak about footwork. I will try to teach you. I will try to explain you what kind of footwork uh, table tennis uh, players use. Yes. So, for today, it's this, and uh, let let's see us soon. Bye.